مرحبا انا اسمي ميغيل مارينو من الولايات المتحده والنهارده هتكلم عن الجاز درامينج وافضل اني اتكلم بالانجليزي عشان اعرف اوصف واعبر براحتي In this video I'd like to talk about swing. Swing is the original American rhythm and it's really given birth to many different styles of American music. But swing is a vast topic and it can be played a million different ways. Today we're going to be talking about swing in the context of the ride cymbal with the walking bass line and the hi-hat, okay, in the context of that rhythm section. It's important to remember that swing is a four beat rhythm, okay? It's got four pulses and that pulse needs to always be driving forward. We learned this a lot coming up that there always needs to be forward motion with swing. It's not a lazy beat. When you have a bass, usually the upright bass is going to be walking, walking bass line with you. Boom, gang, dong, gang, gong, dang, dong, dang, dong, really setting the time. The bass is the guy in the band who plays the most time, plays quarter notes all day. So locking in with that is going to be number one, the ride cymbal, okay? Four quarter notes on the ride cymbal. Right. In the rhythm section, that's going to be your job is locking in your quarter notes on the ride cymbal with the bass. Then what makes it swing? What makes it different than a straight rhythm? Okay, because we talk about this difference a lot. It's a swung rhythm or a straight rhythm. This has to do with the breakdown of the time, how we break down the beat. In the most simplistic way, you can say that we divide the beat into three parts. <laughs> A straight rhythm, we could say we divide it into two parts. All right. So if we take that three note subdivision and we apply that to this quarter note, this basic rhythm. So what am I doing there? I'm taking the first and third triplet. Okay, these are triplet subdivisions. I'm taking the first and third and playing those on the ride cymbal. Da, ga, 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 ga. All right. So when we play the ride cymbal beat, we don't usually go. Play it every other time. Okay, and that already in itself gives it a kind of swing. I mean, I think the name is appropriate because the beat kind of feels like that. Now, that's the second step, however. The first step is to make sure that that quarter note, the basic pulse, along with the walking bass line, is very solid. Down, down. That's what's going to lock up with the bass and really make the, the basis of the beat together. That's your first ingredient. Number two is going to be the hi-hat on beats two and four. I was told that that became typical, all right, on the modern drum set, okay, to play the hi-hat on two and four because people were snapping their fingers on two and four. If we're thinking of a four note beat, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now even if I just play quarter notes here, I still got to be able to feel, right now I'm not playing any subdivision. I'm just going one, two, three, but I'm feeling ga ga da ga da ga da ga da ga da Okay? So that's my basic beat. Bass. Boom, 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 boom. Okay? This is the basis of my beat. It's in kind of the high part of the drums. As opposed to a rock or a pop song, your main ingredient is going to be your kick and your snare.
okay? Playing kind of a pop beat. And then the high sounds, the hi-hat and the right are gonna be secondary. Here, your main beat is coming from your cymbals. The snare and the bass, snare and the kick drum, okay, are used to talk. We talk a lot about interaction in swing music. There's a lot of improvisation happening. So you're gonna use the snare and the bass to play rhythms that are going to talk to the other musicians. We call this accompaniment, comping. Like what the piano is doing. The piano plays a lot of rhythms to accompany a soloist. And so the snare and the piano talk to each other a lot. The snare and the kick drum are really pretty free to play rhythms and make the beat more interesting. on and on. Every player has his own style of comping, and every player has his own way of feeling the triplet. There's also kind of a very tight swing. So very loose. And as you see, my arm movement also changes with that. How you break down the beat is also important. What is common to all those though, is that quarter note. Within, within that, that one, two, three, four is always very clear on the cymbal. I'm gonna increase the tempo a little bit now and play a little bit more, okay, on a swing beat so you can hear how the four parts are kind of interacting. And I'm gonna use a technique on the bass drum, okay, what we call feathering the bass drum. This is also kind of an old, older style technique, but I pretty much always do it is playing feather, feather light on the bass drum, okay? I call it feathering the bass drum. That also locks up with the bass, and it's supposed to be felt, not heard, okay? It's not going like that. It's playing like that, okay? So I'm gonna use that to also kind of fill it up right now. A one, and two, a one, two, and three. You can see that the, the, the pulse, okay, that quarter note pulse, that force that's driving forward is hopefully driving forward, maintaining that forward motion. I kind of went into what we call a shuffle, okay? That's a typical, typical variation of the swing, keeping that same feeling, the same feeling, but adding a little bit more action on the snare drum. And there are many, many variations of this. And each player, you can tell, first of all, you can tell a, any player from his ride cymbal. Every player has a different way of breaking down the beat. But once again, that common denominator is the forward motion and locking up with the walking bass line.
Now, what really makes swing, I think, unique is the use of syncopation, okay? Playing over the bar line and not playing always done, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. No, sometimes we're gonna hide the one, we're gonna feel the one, but not always play the one. I think the beat is still on the one, all right? You have to make one clear without always playing the one, all right? Now, what is syncopation? Syncopation is using long and short notes to extend over this one, two, three, four, okay? So you can create phrases that are longer than just four beats by using long and short notes. So one, two, three, four, ba, bo, ba, bo, 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 ba, yo, bo, do, ba, ba, yo, do, do, bo, ba, bo, bo, ba, da, ba, bo, 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 do, ba, 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 bo, bo, do, ba, bo, do, ba, ba, yo, do, bo, bo, do, ba, okay? Long, short note. This is dance music, okay? Swing is a dance rhythm. Back in the day, in the 30s, when people would go to listen to the big bands, the glory age of the big bands, ensembles that have 17, 20 people in them. On a Friday night, this is what you did. You went to dance at a club. And so this is a dance beat. It's gotta be lively. And so when we kind of sing it, I mean, that's what that's what's in my mind. It's a danceable rhythm. That's why also it's very easy to kind of get too heavy by playing these downbeats, okay? If you, this is something we hear a lot and um, it kills the dance party. Okay, bam, on one, okay? That does not swing, all right? Sometimes when you wanna give a clear signal to the band, sometimes you will play a big old crash on beat one. Most of the time though, you're not gonna do that. When you drop a big boom bass drum on beat one, it kind of stops this forward motion, okay? The syncopation will have you playing much more on the upbeats, on the ands, okay? So where you get stuff like this, one, two, three, four, pop. Okay? A lot of rhythmic variation. That's super important in this music, okay? Soloists, saxophone, trumpet, okay? All the if instruments are gonna use this a lot to have a lot of rhythmic variation. And that's where all this talking comes in between the snare and the bass and the soloist, okay? Some of the classic drummers to listen to for their swing beat, Philly Joe Jones, Jimmy Cobb, Jack DeJohnette, Tony Williams, Billy Higgins, my personal favorite, Bill Stewart, Brian Blade, Jeff Hamilton, and many, many drummers, okay? And what's great about this is that each one is instantly identifiable by the tone of the ride cymbal and by his particular touch playing this rhythm. So you need to check out a lot of classic recordings. In general, learning this music means learning the history, just like in anything. So. Um, it's important to get familiar with the various styles and tastes of all these different drummers.